respect the flag. That's all I can say. Tom's rant. The upcoming diesel fuel shortage. Uh, this is like October. There's a mouse. See? See his tail. Um, I don't know. Uh, October 26, 27, something like that. In a way, thanks to, uh, you know, Biden. Uh, you know, and, and all these idiots, these global warming morons and old green energy and that, more of the green energy. Look what it's costing people. It's not costing the assholes that are all about the green energy because they're either rich or they're living home with mommy and daddy and they're not paying any bills. So they or they're in college in a dorm paid for by mommy and daddy paying for their tuition. That's not about those losers. Okay. Losers. Ha <laughs> ha. See? Uh... In a way, so gas prices are starting to drop uh, because uh, Biden's dumping pretty much the last of our reserve, not the last, but more of our reserves, another 15 million barrels of our uh, strategic petroleum reserves, which is a case of a natural disaster, a war, an oil embargo, but the morons just dumping it into the system to try to keep prices down. They think they're going to win. Uh, in the midterms, and they're going to lose their asses. Anyway, so anyway, there, uh, there's something like a 30-day supply or 25-day supply of diesel fuel left. And most of you are like, eh, I don't care, I don't use diesel. That's fine. But guess what? All, and I literally mean all the freight in this country meaning groceries, junk toys at Dollar General, which is no longer a dollar. All that stuff is carried, and then you're like, it's all carried by semis. Semis run diesel. The trains, okay, they use diesel. They have diesel engines to power the electric, okay? So you say, well, it's an electric train. Yeah, but it still uses diesel. I'm not talking about the ones that are 100% electric that have the cables up above or the third rail like subways. I am talking regular trains. They run off of diesel, but that's for the generators to power. But anyway, point being is when the diesel runs out, okay, the Northeast has already rationed fuel oil, heating oil, okay, which is basically kerosene. Uh, Michigan, there's not a lot of oil burners left, but up on the East Coast, New England area, uh, they use an enormous amount of, uh, that's how they heat their, their uh, homes. Oh, we just jumped down. Anyway, that's how they heat their homes during the winter, and they've already told them you have issues. You have Europe, uh, this is not about the energy. Anyway, with the diesel shortage, what's going to happen is they're not doing anything about it. There's something like a million barrels of uh, diesel for the emergency supply. We'd burn through that in a day, not even a day. But anyway, the point being is there's an upcoming diesel fuel shortage. Now there's another cat. Uh, a diesel fuel shortage. And, you know, Biden, that more, to show you how an idiot he is, he actually threatened the oil companies saying if you don't bring down prices I'm gonna hit you with another tax he's already got a bunch of taxes hitting in January okay so everything's gonna make a jump in January remember that alright that's Biden that's the Democrats that are doing that well Biden signs anything they put in front of him so anyway you think there's shortages now at the grocery stores and well I don't go to like Walmart I, I just don't shop there uh, but in a way, whether it's Walmart, Target, or whatever, uh, any of those stores, pennies, whatever, they're all going to wind up having more shortages because if the diesel fuel runs out, freight in this country will come to a complete stop. And bad for the economy, but... 
I don't want to say I think it's great, but I think it's a major plus. Because it's showing you, Europe has already gone through all the bullshit we're going through now with their green energy crap. They're already killing themselves. They're hurting massively. They are hurting. Russia cut off uh, uh, Europe's uh, supply of energy, which, guess what? They were buying from us when Trump was in. Then Biden turned all that around. So now we're buying from, but anyway, he threatened. So you think those oil companies, when he threatens them, to bring down prices, they don't have control over that. They have nothing to do with the prices. It's a commodity market, and the reason gas prices are dropping some is supply and demand. Finally, there's starting to build up more supply than there is demand because people can't afford to go anywhere. So they're staying home. They're not taking those family vacations. So anyway, when this diesel shortage hits, the shelves are going to be empty. And I'm not talking about Oh, baby formula or a variety of items like that. Literally, everything that people use on, a, on, let's say, a daily basis, your groceries, your ass-wiping tissue, snatch pads, plugs, all of the normal things that people buy on a regular basis. I'm not talking about so much toys, okay? They're all getting fully stocked now for Christmas. So stuff like that really won't be affected. Um, carpeting, uh, you know, windows, crap, you know, all that stuff isn't going to be affected as bad because it's all sitting there. But the stuff that, you know, every day there's semis pulling into these stores and unloading. Whether it's grocery stores, whether it's, uh, you know, Macy's, Bourbon's, whatever. They all get their, their uh, freight from semi. So when that fuel runs out, prices are going to shoot up again because there's going to be major shortages. So if you're smart, I'm not saying there's going to be shortages, but if you're smart, you'll stock up before it hits. Because once that diesel shortage hits and takes effect, yeah, more people are going to die this winter than any other winter in history. All right, because it's supposed to be a cold winter. I'm all set. You know, my LP tank, I've got 800 gallons. I got a 3,000 square foot house, and I can heat my house with 800 gallons of fuel for the entire year, meaning heating, cooking, drying, hot water. That's all LP. But anyway, I just want to say that because of Biden, and it's 100% on him. It's not on anybody else. And I don't care the naysayers, oh, Biden didn't do it. The hell he didn't. We were energy independent when that clown took office. And then he's such an idiot. The other day he gave a speech and he goes, well, gas was $5 a gallon when I took office. And even CNN fact checker morons didn't question that. Everybody knows it wasn't $5 a gallon when he took office. It was, uh, you know, right around two or whatever it was. But it sure as hell wasn't nowhere near $5 a gallon. Diesel fuel's already shooting up. I heat my uh, barn, garage, whatever you want to call it, uh, you know, with kerosene, which is fuel oil. That shot up again. You know, so I'm going to keep, when I'm out there working, it's going to be chilly. Because, I, anyway, when a diesel shortage hits, it's really going to screw everybody. Even the Democrats, uh, the Green New Deal morons, It'll affect them because there's going to be shortages unless the government does something, which they're not. A booba oh, not a booba Baba Biden. He's not going to do anything to fix it. The energy uh, secretary, he's a complete moron. He was uh, Graham, no, it wasn't Graham. Um, in a way, he used to be here in Michigan. Guy's an idiot. Doesn't know anything about energy, and he's in charge of the energy sector. So anyway, when the diesel sh shortage hits, Everybody's going to feel the pain because guess what? All the gas that's delivered to the gas stations, guess what? It's delivered by a semi. Guess what? The semis run on diesel fuel. See? So it will affect you. You think, okay, well, I don't really buy that much. I'm pretty good. Uh, you know, I just go to work or whatever. Yeah, but if you can't get gas for your car because the semis can't deliver it, guess what? You're screwed. So anyway, this diesel fuel shortage that's coming up is really going to put a hurt to the country and the economy and it could have been prevented so in a way vote republican F 
I'm talking about from the ditch digger all the way up, get rid of all these Democrats out of office, and that's the only way we're going to take back the country and make it great again, because it's in the shitter. You know, all you got to do, you don't watch the fake news, watch some of my videos, I say it the way it is. So anyway, I appreciate everybody watching. Hit the little B in the bottom right hand corner if you want to subscribe. Hit the little notification bell. It'll let you know when I upload a new video. And oh, please, please hit the little thumbs up. I don't care. Uh, so anyway, I really appreciate everybody watching. The last time I checked, I was over 64,000 uh, uh, views, 114 subscribers. <laughs> Need a thousand to make money. So anyway, I just appreciate everybody watching my videos and I hope you learned something. But anyway, if that d diesel shortage, if something's not done about that, yeah. Look at all the ships that run on diesel fuel. The Navy. Jet fuel. Okay? All that shit's going to be affected. So watch out, people.